guys, what's, uh, what's going on? Welcome to Blog and Go, uh, our YouTube channel where we teach people how to start a profitable blog, uh, free up their time, and go do the things that they want to do. And whether that's uh, traveling the world, like we'll be talking about in this episode, or spending more time with your family, or your kids, or making it rain dollar bills at the club, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. Today's video is for those of you saying, I want to quit my job and travel the world. Not too long ago, Lauren and I were in similar situations as, as many of you. We were working uh, typical jobs. Mine was less typical, but she was a CPA at a big accounting firm. And we changed our lives by starting a blog and making it profitable. And now we sort of teach people to do the same. Uh, right now we're in Nicaragua. Uh, it's it's very beautiful here. Uh, it's a nice day. I'm sitting out here on the porch on a little deck, uh, and this is our our view over the water. We're currently with a group called the Wi-Fi Tribe, a group that travels around and um, uh, entrepreneurs that sort of share their experiences with one another. Uh, but yeah, but today it's about you guys, as it always is, and, and those of you saying, I want to quit my job and travel the world, and we're going to go through the seven steps that we took to doing that, and hopefully this will help some of you. Uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, so our YouTube videos are going to match some of the articles that we have, and so I'm going to post those in the description below. So if you prefer to read or, or want to read over these as well, uh, those are always going to be in the description. Every resource that I talk about will be in the description. So fast forward to about 10 months ago, Lauren and I, uh, the creators of um, Avocado and Create and Go and our blogs, uh, we were just working jobs we didn't want, want to work. Lauren was a CPA at a, at a, count, a mid-size accounting firm out in Dallas, Texas. I was a personal trainer. And we both had sort of decided that this is really not what we want to do for the rest of our lives. We really want to travel the world. We want to do some more awesome stuff. But we weren't going to get the opportunity at the rate we were going. Uh, and so we sort of laid out these seven steps to success. And, and in these seven steps are, are our story and, and kind of what happened. And so step number one is, is to let go of what other people tell you you should and should not do. Lauren and I were both raised in a very conservative, traditional style, play it safe homes and environments. You know, it's, it's uh, the typical you know, schedule. You get good grades, you, uh, you go to a four-year college, you get a degree, you get a job, you get married and a spouse, uh, you get a mortgage, uh, you work your ass off uh, climbing this invisible ladder um, while, all while paying for all this other stuff, and hopefully you retire by like 65 in golf. And that was it. And, you know, at some point in time, we kind of realized, I know I realized a little bit before Lauren, but uh, she came along for the ride uh, after a little while. And that was, this is seriously like a fucked up system. Um, you know, many people these days are, are realizing by kind of step three to four that this just doesn't, doesn't work. You know, people are either like swimming in debt of student loans or they're unable to find a job or they just feel completely trapped by all these responsibilities they've taken on. And so it was kind of at this time that we sort of realized that we need um, to do something different. And in step number two, we decided, um, and the thing that you got to realize is that if you really want to quit and you want to do something different, you have to create things. And, and, and specifically, we call it creating awesomeness. Uh, you know, we decided that in order to, you know, be an entrepreneur or be successful online, you got to create things. You got to create uh, websites or products or, or blog posts or, or whatever it is, but you have to create things that the world wants and needs. I can't, I can't emphasize that more because... Um, just just creating garbage doesn't count and not creating anything just makes you a consumer like you consume a job right now you're not a creator you might be creating things for that job but technically if that makes sense and so your focus and our focus had to shift was to be creating awesomeness and this is kind of the mission behind create and go and and what we do is to teach other people how to create a blog and create awesomeness that the world wants and needs so that they can free up their own time. Uh, yeah, and so kind of fast forward a little bit, you know, step three is that we quit before we were ready. So again, a little bit of our story is that, you know, we, we started to invest some of our time into creating a blog and creating an online business. 
and what specifically happened is we started to build up some followers and an audience to our blog but we were running into a problem and so we're working every night uh, you know Lauren would Lauren would come home and I would be working and I'd have some night clients so I would have to run out and so she would work on the blog and then I'd come back and we'd work on it together and we just kind of had this system and every weekend we were working um, because that's kind of what you got to do at the very beginning to escape uh, the nine to five and escape um, uh, really kind of the trap that is uh, working a job and having a car payment and doing all these things. I'm, I'll talk more about that later. Um, but the thing was is that we quit before we were ready. And this was a, a really important thing because we, we f I figured out that uh, it's just a time investment, right? If you're investing all of your time working for someone else, that's time that you could be investing in your own blog and your own thing. And so what Lauren and I did is uh, we decided that we were going to quit before we were ready. We decided that you know, January the 6th of this year uh, that we were just going to quit and we were just going to, we we're going to, uh, I'm just trying not to cuss as much. I know YouTube has some problems with that these days. Uh, but uh, yeah, we just decided to quit, that we were just going to do it and we we're going to use that time to focus on our business. I think a lot of people quit and they just sort of expect the motivation to fall out of, uh, out of nowhere. But you've got to be already spending time and effort and energy um, into what you do before you quit if you really want to live a good life. Um, and so really what we did is we decided, okay, we're going to quit, uh, we're going to do this, and so how are we going to do this is that we minimized our expenses and our non-necessities. Uh, it's funny, um, and part of that trap I was telling you a little bit about, your cars, your furniture, like most of your clothes, the rent that you pay, they're all sort of centered around needing a job, if you've ever, if you've ever thought about it. So like with a car, um, you need a car to get to your job, essentially. Uh, and then you, you know, your car breaks down and gets worse over time because you spend all the time traveling to your job. And you need gas for the car and insurance for the car and etc. And, and this, this is typical of a lot of the things. The reason why rent is high probably where you live, it was high in Dallas, is that um, you know, that's where all the jobs are. And so rent is higher there. Uh, furniture. So what we did is we really minimized our expenses and our non-necessities. Everything must go sort of thing. Uh, it was, we really kind of focused on this minimal lifestyle. Uh, we even went to some extremes. We went on an egg and rice diet for a while um, where, yes, we ate eggs and rice pretty much every day um, in order to kind of make it. Uh, but it wasn't as bad as it sounds. You know, we got to move out to my, my dad has a house in Seattle uh, that he allowed us to use uh, for a brief period of time to start our business under some certain uh, circumstances. Um, but we just really, we cut out all expenses. And it's kind of amazing when you don't have a car, um, you're not paying high rent, you are, uh, you've sold all your things and you're not spending that much money, how much, you don't really need that much money to work on your blog and work on creating your own things. Uh, a couple books that I really recommend, and I'll, again, I will link them, uh, Everything That Remains and Essentialism. Um, Everything That re Remains is a book on minimalism. I, I forgot the guy's name. One of them's named Josh, though. And they just talk about they worked these big corporate jobs and they minimized everything in their life. Um, and I'm a very big believer in that because you shouldn't be defined by the things that you have. Uh, what should more define you is how you feel about yourself and, and the experiences you have. And, and we kind of get, get it messed up because in our minds, success is like, if, you, if I said the word success, you'd probably think about Lamborghinis, big house, and you think about things. Um, but it's been proven in scientific research that things aren't really what make us happy. It's uh, experiences, it's community, it's um, being with others, uh, sharing sharing those experiences with others that are really the big factors and who is happy and who is not. And that's why I really like those books. So please check those out. Uh, I couldn't recommend them more. Um, step number five is learn to fail fast. The, the important thing about if you really want to quit your job and, and make some money online and travel the world is that you're going to fail a lot and you're going to have to learn how to fail really quickly. Um, and that's, that's really essentially why we quit our jobs is so we could fail faster at what we did. And, and man, there were so many failures. And I, I'm not sure if I talk about 
uh, many of them in particular here. Here, Yeah, I mean, our first business ideas that Lauren and I started with was a site called Health, Health and Happy Hour, and it focused on like profanity and fitness humor for millennials. And it bombed in spectacular fashion. Uh, the current website we have, and, and you can see it right here, is it's called avocado.com. It's much different. Um, you know, we talk about weight loss, and we have a you know twenty-one day challenge and a yoga fat loss bible, and that's where we we drive most of our income from. Um, but the thing is, is that if you really want to quit, you're going to have to create things, and you got to be constantly creating things because that way you can fail and sort of figure out, okay, this works, this doesn't, and that's really the key. Uh, step number six is learn to connect, uh, connect and learn um, from others. Uh, you know, I belong to a few um, private communities and um, private forums and, and things of that nature, but really just connecting with us and our blog um, would be a really good idea uh, because that, that's the thing is that we saw, I saw programs like on Digital Marketer and Survival Life and there, there's, a, there's a bunch of other websites that I knew at the time and, and I would learn and connect with these people and you know I you know comment on their blogs or uh, you know talk and interact with them and it really it just kept that um, it kept me learning and kept us moving forward throughout the process and, and if you really want to quit your job and travel the world you need to be looking online everywhere and find people that you connect with and some a source that you feel like you can trust that you can uh, and that you can learn from because there's a lot of learning process that needs to happen if you really want to quit your job and travel the world um, and I guess the final the final step was was go is uh, you know take the plunge step off the ledge sail away from safe harbor um, you've just sort of um, again in going for different people can mean different things this one's specifically about traveling but for, for some people, it's, it's spending more time with your family. It's, it's freeing up your time to do the things you want to do. Um, you know, I personally like to work, and, and, but it's freed my time up so I can spend more time on the projects and things I want to spend on. And, you know, I went surfing, you know, a few. I, my first time ever surfing was like last week. And, and, you know, you get to go and experience like kind of the world in a new way. Um, you know, I, you know, I say a few things in here is that you were not made to spend your, uh, half your life, uh, working a cubicle, listening to a bus that, uh, you're probably smarter than, um, you, you weren't made for those things. You're made to do different stuff than that. And yeah. And so guys, that's, um, that's just going to be our video for today. Uh, I hope really that helped to, um, help you guys out of, you know, the people are, I want to quit my job and travel the world. How do I do that? Uh, and you know, a blog is a great way to do this. Um, you can do it through other methods, but I really do think a blog is probably the simplest way for someone to start who really doesn't have a lot of experience online, making money online at all, uh, and turn things profitable quickly. Again, create and go, which is kind of all we do, is we talk about, uh, on there is our monthly income reports, we got all sorts of cool stuff for you on the blog uh, that's free for you to look at. Um, and learn from and yeah so guys if you liked this video uh, you could do a couple things for me right now that is super helpful um, the first would be to comment um, you know if you liked it just say thank you or you know whatever ask me a question uh, the, the, all those things really signal to YouTube that hey they're giving out really good content they're actually helping people and uh, it helps us grow and the more that we grow is the more that we can share with you guys um, like uh, the video as well and subscribe and subscribing would be super helpful um, but yeah I'm gonna link some resources in the description I hope you guys found this helpful uh, thanks for being here alright guys